Mendoza is here, an impressive talent with a bit of an attitude. It's the right attitude if you ask me, Saxton. The following contest is an eight-man battle royal making his way to the ring. Representing Legado del Fantasma from Cordoba, Veracruz, Mexico. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Raul Mendoza. He started in the Cruiserweight Classic in 2016, but now finally breaking through. Yeah, but at what cost? The ring general has arrived. The longest reigning NXT UK champion ever. One of the most powerful and calculating superstars this industry has ever seen. And representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. The NXT UK Champion, Volta! I'll tell you, classical music has never sounded this frightening. Six foot four, nearly 300 pounds, bringing the hardest chops since Ric Flair to the table. He is so impressive, Walter. One of the most dominating individuals in the history of the company. and respect the ring general. No doubt Walter is going to command his opposition tonight. A sudden chill in the air. Dexter Loomis is here. And from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis! There is absolute nothingness when you look into the eyes of Dexter Loomis. There are sinister plans at work in his head right now. It is impossible to presume the intentions of this human being. Mind games personified, made sentient. He wants to do an interview with Byron after the match. Oh, no, no, no thanks. Come on, jump in there, Dr. Phil. One of the most controversial, ruthless superstars in recent WWE history. And from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, the NXT Champion, Tommaso Ciampa! Tommaso Ciampa calls himself the Blackheart because he makes no distinction between friend and foe inside the ring. And Byron, that never bodes well for Champa's opponents.
A man driven by desire and passion, which is interpreted by some as unbridled ruthlessness. Now you look at Champa, you look at a guy who has threatened careers, ruined psyches, and that's for the people he actually likes. That's the genius of being able to take the humanity out of the equation. This is a man who decided a long time ago that there were no lengths he wouldn't go to for success. Because Champa knows his career could end at any time and wants to make his mark and ensure his place in history. Doesn't wait for his moment, he takes it for himself. And representing the way from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. I, for one, think we should all be thanking Johnny Gargano for showing us the WWE Universe the way. Yeah, if you ask Gargano, he'll tell you his old way brought short-lived success. The current way keeps him and his family on top of sports entertainment. Well, it's true, isn't it? Well, it's worked out very well for Gargano so far. Who are these some people? You? Me and others. You got a mouse in your pocket? The high flyer of Legado del Fantasma. And representing Legado del Fantasma from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Joaquin Wilde. Well, he nearly died of internal bleeding during a match in Mexico. Wilde was able to fight back from that injury to become an NXT superstar. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. So much money, it ain't even funny. Here comes the richest man in NXT history. Saxton, maybe you should ask Grimes for a little loan. You can update that suit game. You know what? That's not a bad and idea. from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes. A trainee of the Hardy Boys who is now rich enough to buy the whole Hardy compound. That's amazing to think about it but actually a better reason to become friends with him. Maybe Cameron could buy somewhere for you to live so you can move out of your mom's basement. Hey, hey. Cameron drives a stock market savant, somehow made money buying coins for dogs. That's not exactly how that works, Sax, and I'll explain later, but Cameron Grimes about to make even more money tonight when he captures the winner's purse of this match. Formerly El Hijo del Fantasma. Now he is Santos Escobar. The leader of Legado del Fantasma. 
Escobar is a highly dangerous human being. And their opponent representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Well, after months of mysterious abductions and attacks in the NXT parking lot, nobody suspected El Hijo del Fantasma. El Hijo del Fantasma couldn't do that. Santos Escobar did it. Elite lucha skill, but proved that he's a mastermind too. Raul Mendoza, Joaquin Wild reaching new heights under Escobar. My sources tell me that Santos Escobar used to fight in underground circuits where he would take parts of fallen opponents for his own attire. Well, if that's true, the hunt continues in WWE. Battle Royal rules here.
slow pitch. Something. Taking more hits up there than he should have to handle. Bowling. Oh, oh. Head under on the line. Up and down. ending. Shape on the verge here. What a battle we are witnessing. The last stage was so good. The shot of the game. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh, man. Right to the esophagus. He's burying elbows in the midst. 
midsection. Setting up an elimination here. in a match like this. Defying the odds, accomplishing the seemingly impossible, that's what elimination matches are all about.